Seaside Gardens in Bradford, Ontario grows truckloads of commodity carrots and onions for markets far and wide. As general manager, Ron Gleason likes to spend as much time as he can in the field, but in reality, Ron does most of his farming in the office. You know, one of my earliest and most powerful food memories was digging carrots in my grandmother's garden. The taste of a freshly dug carrot still jets me back to time and place. But this is not my grandmother's garden. And as a chef, I understand that there's a lot more to the business of carrots than just flavor. Has it been a good growing season? I hear a lot of guys, uh, uh, you know, they get down or they complain about, you know, the weather. Well, the weather's always against you, you know, you got to deal with it and that's part of the fun of it. You never know what you're going to get, it's sort of like mountain climbing, you know. You start climbing that mountain and you just take whatever's thrown at you and you try to do a good job with it, you know. We're seeing a lot of interest in local food connections in the last few years. How has that affected you and your business? Um, local food connections, I mean, uh, I think it's an exciting thing. Where does my food come from? How does it get to me? And knowing that there's somebody, you know, uh, 40 minutes north of Toronto that's doing this and bringing the food to my grocery store, you know, the consumer's seeing that, I, I love that. Tell me about your relationship to LFP, Local Food Plus. They're basically an organization, they do a certification that you're growing with environmentally sustainable practices and that you are a true local producer. Uh, to the markets that you're uh, purporting to be a local producer for. They come out, they do an audit, and uh, at the end of the audit they give you a, a nice uh, certificate like that, and then that's uh, reviewed on a regular basis. And uh, my, my dream is that one day that that local Fruit Food Plus label would be on our packages uh, in our local markets, because I think it's important. Here's something that I, I don't fully understand. How do you set the price for your products? How do you know how much money to charge for a bag of your carrots? There's, there's really three ways that we do it. Uh, one, you know, we have a retail route. Um, that price is, is pretty consistent and predictable from year to year. The chains, like, they'll look back at, at prices from five years back and they want to kind of be in the same ballpark. And then there's a certain amount of my business that I do on contract, most of my processing. So, and those prices are locked in. It's done on a contract basis. They'll dice and slice them. They'll put them into cubes and, and put them into frozen mixes or they'll slice them in to go out to restaurants. And then the other way is just to open market. Well, I know just from my experience in the industry that in January that, uh, that price is gonna be better than it is in November and December. When the price is there, you can make a lot of money just by running the product at the right time. And how often can you actually plant carrots in this field? Uh, it's just a one-year rotation, so we plant carrots, we get them out of the ground, and then it lies fallow for the winter, and uh, the next year we put the next crop in. We'll grow onions on this field next year. Did, did someone say onions? I love onions! I live for onions! I couldn't imagine life without onions. I certainly couldn't cook without onions, so I'm thrilled. Just thrilled to find a warehouse full of fresh local onions. Free range onions. Did, did I mention that I love onions? It's a chef thing. Okay, back to the carrots. Ron, on behalf of all the guests of the Canadian Grilling Company, thanks for growing these amazing carrots. You're welcome, Michael. Cheers. Cheers. What's up, Doc? 